Yesterday, the Senate had an opportunity to affirm our commitment to the dignity of human life. We had a chance to state plainly that newborn babies who happen to have survived an abortion are entitled to the same legal protections and professional care as other newborns. In all honesty, the fact that this legislation even needed to be written is a sad reminder of the degree to which our society is at risk of losing some crucial moral bearings. And the fact that the United States Senate could not even vote to advance this bill is beyond dismaying. The legislation was silent on the abortion issue. All it would have done was affirm the rights of these newborn babies. But apparently even that was a bridge too far. Not just for the far left fringe, not anymore, but now a bridge too far for the vast majority of our Democratic colleagues right here in the Senate. We're no longer dealing with a normal, traditional Democratic Party. We're looking at a party that has been dragged so far to the left, it would have been unrecognizable to folks just a few years ago. In 1996, Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan condemned partial birth abortion by comparing it to infanticide. That was a distinguished, mainstream Democratic senator from New York about 20 years ago. And today, today 94% of Senate Democrats could not even vote to protect babies after they're born. After they're born. And the only explanations they could offer were bizarre euphemisms and vague references to issues that have no bearing once a child has already been born alive. So it was a sorry display, Madam President. But I can say this, this fight isn't over. Republicans will not let this stunning, stunning extremism from our Democratic colleagues be the last word on this subject. 